Namaste, beautiful Gemini. This is Tefnut Light with your monthly forecast for July 2015. Thank you for your patience. I've recently moved and a lot has been going on. So welcome to the Cottage Castle. It's beautiful, cozy, and it has the vibration of the Cancer energies as well as the Capricorn energies. I moved on around the, new, the full moon in Capricorn. So Let's get started, and there is an update video if you want to see what I've been up to. I did cut my hair recently. So good energy is our way here, and we're going to be entering a beautiful new moon in Cancer, so a lot of home energies, cozy energies, family energies, union energies, some interesting energies happening right now. And yeah, so let's just go with the flow and allow that to happen, and trust. So I'm going to be pulling you some cards for the Druid Craft deck. It's going to be a card for the beginning of the month, the middle of the month, and the end of the month. I do just recently um, put up my website, so please do go check that out. The website link is below. I'm offering uh, readings and Reiki sessions, and I will be hosting uh, a beautiful free event on the 15th of July for the New Moon in Cancer. And we're having a very interesting hangout and a reading, and I'll have an event video up soon for us. So go check out my like page, like that there, because that is always updates there. So really interesting energies, and I'll have a video up on here soon. And your weekly readings will be back again, so I'll be posting that very shortly. Anyways, let's get into your beautiful energy reading for the tarot, and really love yourself, self-nurturing, uh, cleansing. Uh, being with family and friends, feeling nurtured, being around children. Oh, interesting. You just got a card that fell. Okay, so the beginning of the month is about reaping a harvest. And it's about very grounded energies. It is seven of pentacles, so it's a spiritual essence of, so to say, reaping rewards for um, something you've planted a long time ago. And I was actually doing calls called dream seeds before and yes yeah, seven pentacles so this kind of reminds me of that so you a seed you planted maybe if you were on my dream seeds call could be coming to you right now Gemini um, it could be so to say something you planted a long time ago like six months ago I want to say is starting to come and you're reaping the rewards financially and it's almost like an arts an art spirit that's within you, that you've been expressing to the world, um, you've been putting yourself out there. It's very much from your heart. There's a space of um, this business with your heart, um, the artistry you put in, the love and the care and the nurturing. And seven is such a beautiful, special number with that. So it's like the guide of spirit is guiding you to create abundance in your life with your heart and spirit sharing that with people so share this beautiful abundant harvest with people and this will be an absolute beautiful energy it is looking like a winter energy if you are here in the southern hemisphere um we are in winter if you're up <clears throat> on the other side of the hemisphere if i said that right um you're in the summer so it could be that something from the winter is coming now has grown and you're reaping the reward or you're actually like planting a new foundation and it's starting to grow already and you're reaping the rewards already or it has to do with something that's coming around the winter season for you possibly okay and you're starting to work more on that but the abundance will start to show and there'll be beautiful fruits for that it looks like there's a mistletoe so this could be a beautiful connection a kiss um a beautiful relationship that kind of thing there's this beautiful Woof, woof. <laughs> Beautiful, like, ancient wisdom in this tree and this knowledge, and now you're finding fruits within that tree, and they've grown beautifully. All right, let's get into the middle of the month and see what's in store for you, beautiful Gemini. This tree could also be right around your home, so it has something to do with home and foundation and feeling that foundation grow, blossom, and bloom in any kind of weather. So that's what I'm feeling.
Okay, this is the card that wants to come up. It's the sun in reverse. And this has to do with maybe a way um, you weren't expecting this sun to come into your life. This could be a baby that could be born. Good news is the sun that represents good news. It represents victory, it's a, a success seen in the world, reborn, refreshed, new, like, kind of like short hair, <laughs> of riding the horse, going forward, births, joy, abundance, good news, weddings, family. It's just like this beautiful um, soul because Gemini is that beautiful innocent child and there's this innocent child being reborn and cancer is the energy which we're in right now is that nurturing mother so maybe you're going to be nurtured more this month by the energy of the nurturing mother and the nurturing father so you can really shine as a beautiful divine child that you are it could be that you could be nurturing more children you could be having a child you could be meeting a child or you could become pregnant or finally meet that beautiful being that is going to make a child with you. That is all possible. It is the sun, it is illuminating you, and you are being seen in your bright light being. And that is such a beautiful, beautiful energy. So nurture that child, nurture yourself, nurture yourself like a child, and allow yourself to be that divine energy of the light child, and as well as that adult. But every adult has a child within, and every child has an adult within. That sounds funny, but meaning that we all have both roles in our life and we can renew and refresh anytime we want to. And I feel the triumph and good news is on its way, especially with all this harvesting you've done. Now you're reaping your rewards. And it's like summer has finally arrived in your heart and in your soul. And you're illuminating the whole world with your good news, your bright spirit, and your bright self and your shining light. I feel it has to do with a child, though. There's a child is very important in your life coming to your life already in your life but she or he is going to bring you good news and this good news is like the chariot because the chariot card is the, the, the card of cancer and I feel like it's that one horse that's coming to bring you really good message and this child is going to say hey like look fresh new energies and all is well and all is well. all right and with the cancer vibration it's really going to bring you back to like feeling like that inner child feeling loved and nurtured and this like sunshine child that's what I want to say the sunshine child is going to tell you something hello sunshine child you are a sunshine child okay that is beautiful energy I love that vibration for you and it's like there's music going to be played or there's this harp it's like a little cherub is going to bring you good news for your love life possibly or this horse could be galloping like it's just very determined it's very protective this horse is like protecting the child so it could be like there's a spirit that's protecting the child or um this could be spiritual messages from these two beings so there's many variations it could be a child that's very spiritual as well so or your own spiritual child or a child in a soul child meaning before you become pregnant this is very quite common i know about this already um, they speak to you before they decide to to enter your life many years before actually a few years They say two three depending the woman only always knows before So you could be connecting with an unborn child of yours of either you're pregnant or this could be before Conception if you are connected to the child's soul really deeply and within your own Energy body it is all possible women are very intuitive beings and I believe that we know when we conceive right away so on a spiritual level. Let's see. And this also could be conceiving energy in terms of a conception project. So a project that has been, you've been working on, um, this is so to say the rebirth or the, or it's being reborn again, or so to say your project is like your baby, that kind of thing. Okay. Let's get into the end of the month for Gemini. Mission 10 right now, minutes. Two th July 2015, the end of the month for Gemini. I'm feeling some good energies. Decided to do this reading the last because, yeah, I just wanted to focus on Cancer first because that was their birth. It's the birthday month for most of them. So, yeah. It's like this sunshine child. I feel like there's some kind of big sunshine coming your way. That's all I feel. Sunshine, joy. 
It's a very big symbol. The sun represents the masculine, actually. And it's like the sun is the man and the moon is the woman. So uh, I've had some really interesting visions in my life with that sunshine. So um, yeah, I hope you can explore that as well. Definitely go out in nature and be in the sun as well. Like there's just lots of sun energy coming through. And the sun is ruled by Leo. So Leo could be blessing you with something amazing or just bringing you joy and rejuvenation and love. And yeah, just roll in, the, roll in grass and roll in fields and play and get outside. Really enjoy the summer if you are in warm weather. If you're in the winter, Bring in some sunshine and light from positive vibrations, light, meditation. Get out in the sun even if it is a little cold. Just make sure, because in New Zealand it's quite cold right now and I'm down on this hemisphere. So really like enjoy nature. Be a nature child. I love that card for you. It's amazing. It's such a beautiful card. Like, really nice. Okay. I could talk about the card for hours, but I'm not going to. All right. <clears throat> Good announcements. Um, okay. Gemini. Oh my goodness, girlfriend, boyfriend. Sorry. I had to do that. The Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so this is about finances, this is about job, material needs. You're coming out of your cave and you're seeing the star again. You're seeing the light. And there's, so to say, this good news. But there's this wisdom gained through this knowledge of money, finances, material needs, how you see yourself in the home. Because the bear is very much a home buddy. It's like the bear and cancer have that interesting vibration because they're both very homey and cozy people, very cuddly. It's like... You could be connecting with a bear family, um, not to say that they're actual bears. Maybe you'll be connecting with the spirit of bear. But, um, and there's this beautiful birch tree right here. There's another tree. There's these stars and the universe is trying to tell you something really beautiful. It's like you've gone through this interesting reaping of the harvest through this winter, I want to say, or transformation, because you did transform right before your birthday and then into your birthday. And then we had Mercury going retrograde the, the month before this. And it's like really took you into a deep space of healing. I felt that as well. And then the sun is coming out. And now the sun is illuminating good news of prosperity, of finances, of family, of home matters, having a foundation, having a good roof over your head, enjoying the pleasures of the physical abundance, the abundance that's there for you to reap and for you to enjoy. It is about magic, enchantment, all the elements being connected because this is a pentacle. It's connecting air, fire, earth, and water, emotions, intuition, spirit, matter, destiny. It's just, it's like a compass to the stars. So to say the star, the, the compass to the stars and the sun is illuminating this as well. So the beginning of the month is very much about reaping that harvest, Maybe cutting some things down and renewing that tree. And then we have good news, love, ch children, births, weddings, announcement, good announcements, good messages, children. Like, it goes beyond. It's just success card, basically. And then you have the su success, be new beginnings, amazing beginnings in the Ace of Pentacles. And this is really the beginning of you being a star in the world and shining your light in those aspects in your projects, so to say, your earthly project that has been a spiritual project, and becoming that star and that divinity and shining in the daytime and in the nighttime. So really connect to spirit and ground yourself in this earthly, beautiful energy. And I feel like about the time of Leo's is when this is going to happen. 
Um, the energy is really going to transform, as well, especially because we have Leo and Jupiter the last month towards the end of July. We have one more month of it. So it's really about shining your authenticity and engaging into that abundance that is there for you in nature, in the physical world, in the spiritual world. It is all there for you. Every element is connected to you, and each element is here, there for you, and giving itself to you. So abundantly receive with love, blessings, and gratitude. I'm sending you love and light from Ubud Bali, from the beautiful castle cottage and the cozy house into the light. I send you love. I send you peace. I send you harmony. And I will see you very soon. If you'd like to sign up for a personalized reading, please go to my website and look at readings and Reiki. And there's all the descriptions there. And I'd be happy to help you on your path of abundance, love, fertility, and happiness. I send you love and light. Namaste. And I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching. Make a good wish.